Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Daily Digital. Uh, today is July 8th, 2022. My name is Junior and today I've got four things to touch on with you all. Uh, the first one being from a bank over in Slovakia. Uh, they're doing something unique with the AI technology. The next one being Instagram, uh, who made a promise a little bit a while ago uh, of making a kid-friendly version of Instagram. And also we have one from Snapchat, uh, who is getting into the drone business. A little bit of, about that here. And then the last one being from Amazon, uh, who's actually diving into the uh, hair salon business. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so as I mentioned, there is a bank over in, um, I believe it's Slovakia. Um, it's the first Slovak bank, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but what they're doing is that they are using artificial intelligence um, on a holographic image to basically interact with their customers uh, that come into the bank. So as you can see here, um, this is the image of the actual holographic banker, I will call her, uh, which is kind of funny because in parts of the article, they actually speak in um, masculine terms. So let me see here. Uh, clients are welcomed by Vesna. Vesna would be the name of the actual holographic banker, uh, the first 3D holographic banker. Thanks to artificial intelligence, he, you say he, they use the word he here, was able to answer their questions and save time for branch staff. In addition, it also works in the online space as reading the um, bank's website. Uh, Vesna appearance, how she behaves, and now you see they use the word she here, or what her body language is, is a result of extensive survey of thousands of Slovaks and Slovaks. I don't know why I had that twice. Supplemented by dozens of personal meetings with psychologists. Um, so uh, it's, it's kind of weird. Um, they have it, they call it both a male and a female, I guess. I'm not sure how that is all working out. Um, I don't want to disrespect any AI or robots or anything like that. I would have probably just called it uh, an it, IT. Um, but hey, this is a new world that we're diving into. Um, we'll see how that all turns out because, um, you know, every, everything is, is changing nowadays with these uh, pronouns and everything. Uh, you want to make sure that you respect everybody uh, in their standpoint. So, hey, that includes robots. You know, you got to include them as well. All right, so then the next one would be from Snapchat. Snapchat has actually created its own camera drone uh, so that you can be able to take snaps from pretty much anywhere, um, get those right angles if your friend isn't that good at catching those angles for you, um, and so on and so forth. So this is called Pixie, and if I can actually scroll on here, there it go. Uh, this is actually called Pixie. Um, it's going to run you about 250 bucks. Uh, I'll play this little. We are taking a video. And this comes right from the Pixie website, pixie.com. And a fun thing about this, or the unique thing about this, is that they can actually go ahead and post all of this to Snapchat right away. Um, you can go ahead and add all your filters on there. You can go ahead and um, add all of your uh, different stickers and everything, and it'll be added right to Snapchat uh, virtually immediately. So uh, I think this is actually pretty cool. I think Snapchat kind of took a step ahead when it came to technology and utilizing it to its fullest potential. Um, they, in my opinion, are doing it a little bit better than TikTok. TikTok really became... Um, came up over the past couple of years and whatnot. Let's see if I go here to shop. Yeah, so about $249.99 in uh, US dollars there. Uh, you can have a whole bunch of different uh, accessories to it as well. And so yeah, so I think they are taking a step ahead with that. Uh, I know a lot of people love drone technology. Uh, I mentioned drones yesterday um, being in the world game, so it's really um, on the rise at the moment as well. So I believe that they are heading in the right direction with that. All right, so then the next thing here would be Amazon is coming out with its own salon. That is correct. Amazon is known for bringing out packages and um, 
pretty much delivering to you within a couple of hours. But now over in London, they are opening up a salon. Um, I'm not sure exactly why they would jump into this. I'm going to do a little bit more digging, a little bit more research onto this here. Um, but one thing about it is that they are utilizing AR technology, augmented reality um, technology for hair consultations, as well as point and learn technology. Um, so I just want to read. So we have designed the salon for customers to come and experience some of the best technology, hair care products and stylists in the industry. Uh, that's from UK Country's manager over at Amazon. Uh, we want this unique venue to bring us one step closer to customers, and it will be a place where we can collaborate with the industry and test new technologies. Um, it's going to be showcasing a selection of best selling professional hair care products. The salon will also test new point and learn technology where customers can simply point at the product they are interested in on a display shelf and the relevant information including brand videos and educational content will appear on a display screen, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, like I said, everything is going digital. To order the products, customers can scan the relevant QR code on the shelf to visit um, product detail page on amazon.co.uk and purchase with delivery direct to their home. Um, and again, they're going to have world-class, world-renowned uh, hairstylists come in and actually style their hair. Uh, looks like they're going to have AR technology. They have some couple of pictures here. They looks like they're going to have AR technology being able to show what they might look like with different colored hair and stuff like that. So just a brief consultation um, and whatnot. But yeah, I think this is the point and well, this is actually pretty interesting. This is the point and learn technology where they just point at the product here. And then here on the screen, as you can see, it has all the different information. And then that QR code they were talking about there as well. Uh, in which they can go ahead and purchase. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think about that. I'm really interested uh, to know. I'm, right now, it's only open to Amazon employees. Uh, I'm not sure when the actual rollout date is going to be. To um, Everybody can go ahead and book an appointment. Um, but as they're in testing, it's all experimental right now. Um, so it's going to be quite interesting to see how it all works out. All right. And then the last thing here is Instagram. Instagram was starting a Instagram for kids app. Um, but this was, uh, this was published back in September 27th, 2021. Uh, but instead now they are going to just beef up their parental guidance, parental controls, uh, to be able to supervise these children that are on this app. Um, I'm assuming, I'm not sure if it's going to include Facebook as well, but Instagram for sure, uh, so that they, you know, don't get bullied on and, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, we believe building Instagram kids is the right thing to do, but we're pausing the work. We'll use this time to work with parents, experts, and policymakers to demonstrate the value and need for this product. We'll continue to build opt-in parental supervision tools for teens. Uh, so I believe currently Instagram is used for... Uh, are used by teens mostly 13 and older uh, anybody under the age of 13 um, technically shouldn't be on Instagram in my opinion TikTok as well but you know a lot of them have accounts anyway um, but yeah so they're saying that kids are already online so instead of trying to get them out of what they're already used to let's just go ahead and protect them from you know certain things that they are encountering while they're um, using those different apps and stuff like that uh, building parental supervision tools. Uh, I feel like those should have already, you know, been in place, but you know, it's, it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to, um, create an app and know exactly what's going to happen with the app. You can't exactly just predict that, you know, a child is going to go on there, uh, and interact with like a 50, 60, 70 year old man or woman or something like that. Uh, you also can't predict what other teenagers might, you know, do to bully or harm or disrespect other kids and stuff like that as well. Uh, so I'm glad they are taking this approach. I'm glad they are building out those supervision tools uh, for the safety of all um, the people across the world, especially the little ones. Uh, they are, you know, technically the future. Um, so with that being said, uh, definitely want to know what you guys think about all of these articles. Uh, I'll leave the links to all of them in the description below. Uh, please be sure to subscribe and you all have a good one. Until next time.